teams out there that has been utilizing double supporter. But right now, we're going to be diving in, of course. It's our draft. And we can see going to be the ban, ban for Code and Binary. It's going to be Hoopa and Umbreon. And for Secret Rare, <gasps> we have Mimikyu and Trevenant. Gyarados. Yeah. It was left open. Gyarados is open for the taking for Code Unknown Binary. And that will be a no-brainer first pick for them. Secret Rare, though, how will they punish this, uh, I would say, um, a risky pickup here by, uh, by CUB or Code Unknown Binary? And there you go. Leafion oh. and Selvion going to get open here and will be picked up immediately by Secret Rare. Power of Evolutions are present right now at the side of Secret Rare. But of course, Code and Binary will take that opportunity to grab Delphox once again. And I mean, Delphox probably can give uh, a, bit, a little bit of crowd control, I'd say, knowing that it has the fire spin, so it can definitely buy a lot of time sure. for your uh, teammates. So uh, having this kind of setup, I think they could probably go for another attacker if they want additional damage. But at the same time, that Gyarados can deal enough, and at the yeah. same time, it can ambush or just uh, be there out of nowhere. A very good mix of offense and defense. All around there is the Gyarados. And so now we're looking at the comfort picks all across the board for Code Unknown Pinery. Wow. Augmenting their lineup finally with this Blaziken pickup. Meanwhile, Secret Rare, they are probably content with how they drafted their first three picks in terms of damage. And will be going for a double defender setup here. Um, mind you, this Blastoise can really turn around team fights, especially, of course, with the Unite move Hydro Typhoon. Yeah, I mean, uh, and aside from that, the sustain, the damage is just so perfect at the side of uh, a Blastoise. And having a Blizzy on your side that can heal and boost your attack is definitely really beneficial at this, uh, on their side, at least. So. Take a look at the draft itself, Autoloos. Uh, Secret Rare, they have a good amount of sustain and at the same time can boost your attack. But the damage is just relying on the Evolution Pokemons out here. So if the side of Codenome Binary can definitely pick off the two the two Evolutions, I think Codenome by our uh, Secret Rare will be having a tough time. You know, they have the sustain, but if they can easily be picked off because uh, probably Leafeon and Sylveon is squishy, so I think Sylveon might have to go with a Draining Kiss so it can have a couple of Life Steal. Yeah. So, I mean, just to sustain itself uh, to be uh, to be there in the uh, team fight for a longer time. It's very possible, right? Um, that is one alternative option for our Sylveons. Although, in our quest yesterday, yeah. right, like in, for the entirety of the day yesterday, mm -hmm. I never saw Draining yeah, Kiss. We never saw it. <laughs> get picked up <laughs> for our Selvion. Um, but I'm not saying that it's not going to happen today, especially with how things are set up. Now, we are going to focus, of course, on the Leafeon secret rare from uh, last time out. Leafeon was their go-to pick. Leafeon was their MVP. Yeah. It, it was dealing massive amount massive of damage. damage yeah massive and <laughs> although you look at the lineup here of code unknown binary they do have all rounders on you know two of their lanes it's not going to be easy uh for them to really tank all those damage coming in from the offensive weapons here by secret rare but game one is already on underway no speedsters this is pretty interesting knowing that speedsters can definitely uh be faster on the rotations, but all around there, it's not that bad going into the central area. And uh, we can see that it, it is very standard, but the magic card is going to be uh, going for the first goal immediately. But I sad to say, oh, it was Kalel making the first one, and the magic card is having a hard time scoring the first goal. So, this is the disadvantage that we have been seeing on the early stages. He got knocked out, uh, and I believe that he was able to at least get some goal in. And we have to remember that the passive of the magic card allows for him to evolve early if he gets those slum dance, uh or points in. And so now 28 points on the board for Secret Rare. The Leafeon on that solar, or with that solar blade, is already making his presence felt. Yeah, massive damage is already being felt out here. And Deva, the match card, still not in the ball, being level 3 mark. And this is somewhat of a very big pressure, but the Leafeon is already there. Go, go. Oh god, solar blade is just making tons of damage on their side, and they just have to go back Four to the push. Goal zone. Four-man push is really present out here. They're going to be taking down two and three. 
KOs out here at the side of Secret Rare, and this is just massive amount of AS energy being converted. Experience as well is being gifted to the primary members of Secret Rare. Now here comes Ken, possibly with one more hit will get the Stealth Fox. Stealth Fox being sent home immediately. A 1v2, not a problem. Not a problem, and of course, Wiggly Top has to back away. Girl God being Solar zoned in the in the central area, but Solar Blade just deals a lot of damage on their side together with the support of the Blizzy, so they don't have any problems when it comes to damage, and they just have to ambush as quick as they can. Girl God is definitely ahead of the pack right now. All those Solar Blades really hit by the drop. Now, another one connects. However, the punishment is real. The Del Fox does get the Leafeon in the end. I mean, this is just so efficient from the cross of providing Rock Tomb for the teammates or for the trainers out here of Secret Rare, just cornering every single member of Code Unknown Binary to get free knockout or knockout of, on the stage. And the response is just quick as they can here on Secret Rare. Another ambush and Leafeon. Just multiple smaller plays are being felled. And this is a four man push once again on the goal zone up against Code Known Binary. And 10 seconds on the clock. Regilecki and the Reggie will be going down. And this is what we were saying, right? Like this uh, lineup by Secret Rare, they know how to play around their Leafeon to its maximum potential. And uh, Girl God, I would say that she's really having a very good time even getting the Reg Eyes for themselves. Reggie Alecki still open for the taking on the top side. Fire Spin going to connect onto Masura. And that sweep was clutch coming in from Lelouch. Now here comes the Gyarados. That will be a very big punishment coming from Girl God. Level 9 already. Unite not available anymore. The Emerald 2 step was just used. Just you and the chase keeps on coming inside of Secret Rare. Another they one. Another Pokemon knocked out at the side of Code Dome Binary. Make it three, I would say. And they're just pushing the bottom uh, bottom goal zone here together with securing the Regilecki on the top path. And they are just guiding it all the way on the second goal zone in the top path. Rock Tomb, very clutch so far. Really caging the members here of Code Unknown Binary, and they cannot really withstand the pressure that is being put on here by Secret Rare. Another potential pickoff, a wow. 2v4, an Emerald 2 step to start things off, and now a 2KO in the favor of Secret Rare. Now they are trying to push for more points. Reggie Alecki for the touchdown means that they can take down this goal zone. 30 points left at the goal zone of Code Unknown Binary at the top. Path. And mind to tell you all of this, this has been a very big struggle against Code Unknown Binary because uh, knowing that Secret Rare has been taking a lot of wild Pokemons on their uh, central area, they don't have anything to gain an XP unless they score a huge amount of AO's energy. But it's not the case for them. And right now, they're just trying to defend everything that they can. And Deva is really feeling it right now, right? Level 8, definitely behind in the level department. You look at the level of the Leafeon. Girl God is already level. 12, which means that she can really hit like a truck right now. Oh man, this is not uh, looking good for Code Unknown Binary. It's not yet over though. We are at five minute mark, and there is still is an opportunity for Code Unknown Binary to come back into this. And Secret Rare commits mistakes. Reg is already available, and of course that is a quick secure coming inside of Secret Rare. But the contest is still present at the side of Code Unknown Binary. This could be a three v three. Girl God, Girl God on the back line. Solar Blade gonna be hitting the last. It goes to the Sylveon, and they are just having a fiesta. And Still, the last hit Emerald of the two Emerald two step is enough to take every single member that is contesting the Reg Eyes. The picture perfect. Oh, Unite coming in from Girl God. Catch us too in secret. We're definitely on fire right now. Even gets the buff for themselves. Will be packing towards the top side. Reggie Alec even open for the taking. And this has just started to blow open in the favor of Secret Rare. Very favorable for them at the same time. Regilecki, as you said, has already spawned, but the contest continues at Code and Old Binary. They're going to be starting it things quickly, but oh my goodness, just take a look at this. Oh, no Unite available for the Delphox. Fanciful 
fireworks will definitely be very helpful. Fire spin catches three, and I believe this is the perfect opportunity. Now we're seeing Blaze again trying to survive, not going to be successful in doing so. Cal L at the back of it, while Girl God is dealing massive amount of damage. Clo Clo trying to survive by himself, not going to happen. And Secret Rare once again watches that team fight. I mean, they are just confident. They know they have the advantage in terms of everything. They have the level advantage, they have the damage advantage, and Girl God is just on their back line. No one is uh, knocking out Girl God to the point that Girl God can really uh, freely uh, deploy the Solar Blade on the back line, and it is just a huge amount of knockouts that Secret Rare has been providing for them to secure uh, a, a huge amount of points. I was looking for Deva, right? Like, Deva is definitely the critical point here for Code Unknown Binary. Now, this is going to be a 3v2, and finally, a come back is now going to happen because Sark is really feeling it right now. Bryas is here. Where is Girl God? Girl God is late to the party and that is a small skirmish win for Code Unknown Binary. And yes, five seconds on the clock. Another Reggie will be spawning on the bottom path, but I think uh, Golden on Binary will be focusing here at the top path. That is going to be a free points coming in for them, but the contest is here, very present, and that is going to be the first bold zone at the side of Golden on Binary, and no one is going to be getting the Regirock on the bottom path, and they're just taking their position for the final stretch. Yeah, finally something positive looking at the Unites. They're available for most of the members here of Secret Career, so this could be the final clash of game number one. It's still doable for Code Unknown Binary. We know the prowess of a very well-placed Unite coming in from the Giara Dos Flow. Flow does have the slow beam uh, to really lock down any of the primary targets, but the pokes are in, and Clo Clo is already feeling it. Amnesia just to help him out to sustain. Yeah, I mean, Fire Spin was there. The delay can, of course, but it's just everyone waiting for them to make the first move. Solar Blade gonna be popping in. Look at the Blastoise. Look at the Blastoise. The perfect flanking opportunity, but Clo Clo trying to feel it. The Blastoise not yet spotted so far. Perfect opportunity for a Hydro Typhoon to catch a lot of members. Cal L. More like a Superman possession right now. The fanciful fireworks is Whoa. going to connect, but the Hydro Typhoon catches them all. And now Bryas is going for the chase. Leave you on untouch, and we'll know what is going to happen. Secret Rare is winning this team fight without a sweat. Bryas going for the final two kills. Deva still surviving so far. A 1v1 Selvion versus the Giara doesn't. Bryas is still on the chase. Huge lead for Secret Rare. And they can probably take the Rayquaza right now as Deva's gonna be backing away, but the chase continues coming in with the Sylveon, not gonna be giving an opportunity here, Olu. Deva trying to survive, still has the opportunity. 45 seconds on the clock. Oh man, Unite moves already expended. How can they do this? They need this Rayquaza to turn things around. But the Defenders is really in their face right now, trying to be a nuisance. Bryos, Hyper Voice, Whoa. including the Emerald two step to catch them all. And Secret Rare in game number one dominates and wipes out Code Unknown Binary. There is not enough time at the side of Code Unknown Binary. They just have to defend everything. They weren't given an opportunity to score some goals. And it is just a blast noise. It's gonna be getting 382 points on the top side. Make the lead even bigger. And Secret Rare will take game number one in the series. Flashy way to punish a Gyarados pickup here. We consider the idea of Gyarados being left open. If a team is ready to pounce on the weak early game of the said Pokemon and Secret Rare just knows what to do at that given situation, you give them Leafeon, they'll be enjoying the party. Yeah, I mean, they really did enjoy the party. Of course, I have to take a look at the stats that we we got from this game. I mean, just take a look at that score. 86 big score for Girl God. Really efficient. And every single member of Secret Rare has a very well distributed uh, distributed contribution, especially having that uh, 16 uh, assist from Girl God. I mean, just take a look how massive uh, the impact of Girl God is. She really is very good at piloting this Leafeon. Um, and that mainly is the reason why they're banning away the Mimikyu. Mimikyu is one of the best ways to control uh, the elusiveness mm -hmm. and the agile or the agility of a Leafeon. 
I hope to see the uh, data because I want to know how much damage Girl God did in this game. Oh, bro. Because I believe, I believe, you know, it, it, it should be close to 40% or maybe even beyond that. Oh, oh 35%. Yeah. It's a it's more of a balanced effort, actually, because Bryos was also doing a fair share of damage. Yeah, I mean, this is what we expected, as I said a while ago. The damage will be relying on the evolutions. And yes, it is very present out here. 20, 24%, I'd say, and 35%. Each and every one longer, as we're going to be heading over, of course, to our game number two of the series. The waiting is over, and so now we are going to enter game number two. The bands are in. Mimikyu is still a very standard ban by Secret Rare, just trying to remove all those single target suppression on towards their primary carry. And whoa, what a respect. Yeah, I mean, Lazikin is going to be taken out of the picture. I mean, that is just pure respect. Knowing that Leafeon has been contributing a lot, especially on the Blaziken as well on the side of Code and Binary, we gotta respect that. It has been efficient, or probably, most of, probably one of the most efficient uh, Pokemon's out there in game number one, so they really had to respect it. But that leaves Trevenant open at the side of Code and Old Binary. And Claw Claw, this is his most picked Pokemon. I love it. Right? Yeah. Like, this is definitely going to impact the team fights more, more on the comfortable side. Sacred Rare, though, will be answering the team fight prowess of the Blastoise and Trevenant by getting themselves the Delphox. Sylveon, still their top pick. I mean, it has been a priority especially for Paul, to get the Sylveon. But Girl God going to be switching things up from a Speedster to Attacker because Leafeon is banned. But we all know Delphox probably uh, one of the best Pokemon that Girl God has on his sleeves. I mean, it's just very efficient on Girl God's side. But on the, on the other hand, Mr. Mike Lelouch going to be taking the Blizzy away at the side Ooh. of Secret Rare. This is very interesting. They have been uh, trading a lot of picks because Kalel right now is going to be going for Gyarados. That's true. Uh, Kalel will now be poised to survive the first mm -hmm. two minutes trying to fast track the levels in where Gyarados will be very effective. Uh, will, will be ineffective, yeah, right? Uh, it, it's an ongoing meme, really. Yeah. Magikarp is yeah. basically a splash bot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> splash, flail, yeah. that's it. You know, and so now, by the way, Code Unknown Binary, wow. we saw this from their stats from earlier. 40% chance that they will be bringing out in the Greninja. And with their backs against the wall, they are going to rely on it. I mean, Lelouch is present already, so Lelouch and Deva would probably work together, you know, giving the buffs that Deva needs in order to uh, deploy a huge amount of damage. Uh -huh. But on the other side, this is very interesting for Secret Rare. They have a uh, very well-balanced lineup, I'd say, especially for defenders. Having an Umbreon, of course, that could do a lot of crowd control right. plus sustain. And at the same time, Ken focusing on the single target, so probably Ken can opt to uh, Telekinesis or Unite move Mr. Mike or Deva. It's either the two of them, and then they still have the Umbreon on their side, plus the Fire Spin of the Delphox that will provide a lot of crowd control on their side. That's the ideal scenario, but one one thing to consider as well, PKU says that whenever we see Slowbro in action against the Blastoise, you can cancel the Hydro yeah. Typhoon mm -hmm. with a very well-timed Slow Beam. So that could, uh, that could also be the consideration here by Secret Rare. They're steering away from a lineup that does have a supporter and that i think is because gyarados is more of like you know once a gyarados gets the ball rolling yeah he can survive on his own i mean gyarados is gonna be cooking bouncing there going for the ambush that's gonna provide a lot of contribution on their side and again we are back in the ts sky ruins here in the aos island game number two it is a do or go home already for Code Alone Binary. Yeah, focus on Cal L. The first few minutes will be very pivotal as to how the early game will go. Again, the benchmark for Gyarados users is that he's involved at five minutes, right? Uh, oh, sorry, at eight minutes. If yeah. he ever gets uh, to reach that point of uh, leveling up three eight minutes then that means that it's going to be a good time for the Gyarados. by the way there's a very quick invade mosura and ken is tag teaming but it still is going to be a secure for deva the level advantage will push them away as we're seeing some ko here and there 
uh, Silvio is already making sure to get some experience for this himself. Is, this is very interesting for Codenome Binary. They are just trying to contest every single opportunity oh. that Secret Rare has, but that is another goal coming inside of oh. Secret Rare. And Gyarados! Gyarados under one minute off the game mark. This is insane, and Cal L just using dragon powers. Bounce going to hit it, Mark and Delva with just one HP. Another assist for Cal L. Finally, Prius goes down, but the mission is already accomplished. Nine minutes, Gyarados, ladies and gents, for SR Cal L. And this is a big advantage, all of those knowing that. You managed to evolve Magic Carp into Gyarados earlier than you expected. You can probably abuse already the situation all the way to the top path. Yeah, and again, for as a Gyarados user myself, it's the passive. You have to be mindful of the passive of Magic Carp. If he gets those assists, if he gets those slam dunk, if he gets those points, it's a lot easier for him to level up. Uh, or, or evolve into the Gyarados. And so far, this early game is really pivoting towards Secret Rare. It's not yet over though, because Code Unknown Binary will still have the late game prowess of a Green Ninja. It's harder to uh, pull off though, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Lelouch has been assisting that uh, Frog D right now, which will be Green Ninja eventually. And that is probably one of their priorities right now make Greninja even stronger, but it is just Gyarados on the top path, enjoying and shooting as much as Ayo's energy as he can. I mean, that is what we expect. I mean, having the yeah. attack weight on as your uh, battle item, that would definitely give you a lot of attack boost on the longer run. For sure, right? Like six times is the might magic Max. number, right? Like Kalel. Now trying to survive a 2v1 scenario. And then this is the Gyarados. That I, this is, I think, the reason why they're no longer putting in supporters for themselves. But on the other side, Secret Rare. This is a 4-1 split. And of course, the four Pokemon should have the number advantage. And still, wow. oh. Cal L, that's a solo KO on the top side. And in just 10 seconds, they will secure Regis in the bottom path that will be giving them a lot of <laughs> HP. So uh, this is just, uh, so far, a very one-sided match. And Secret Rare has been enjoying this situation. But the Rapid Spin will be there, Water Spout. I mean, Hydro Pump is not going to be enough to give a pressure out here, but that is going to be another goal secured probably, but not enough at the point. The bounce. bounce is there. Going to be waiting, knocking out two members of Golden Here comes Binary. The, the Dragon Currents going to catch Lelouch, and Lelouch is a gunner right now. So is Mr. Mike. A double KO for Kal El and more points on the board for Secret Rare. They're going to be chasing for Deva here. Ken just applying the pressure. Regilecki secured once again. Going to be going into the second goal zone in the top path. And it is just very confusing here for Deva. Running away for his life. But at the same time, the pressure continues Bounce. here. And the top path bounce plus fireworks is so efficient in Secret Rare. Touchdown. Regilecki will definitely help Secret Rare in their quest to take down another goal zone. And the experience advantage right now is at a premium. Although, one thing positive to think about for Code Unknown Binary is that their carry is the same level, right? He's level 10, so there is still an opportunity for Code Unknown Binary to come back into this. Yeah, I mean, comeback, very possible. It's like over just five minutes on the mark in this matchup, but so far, they have been recovering here. Code Unknown Binary, it's, it's Secret Rare Kal -El? trying to play Mind safe, Mind? but at the same time, kal -El has his own vision right now. The Hurricane is there, in Night Move already deployed, but Hydro Typhoon very present. At the same time, they're going to be running away for their lives because they know they have the disadvantage in this team fight. That's a double KO, and that's an unofficial team wipe. Secret Rare finds the skirmish that they want with a level advantage even though that the Green Ninja is with the same level, it's so hard to pull off a composition that revolves around an attack, a range attack or a Green Ninja. Specifically, now Deva and company will try to sneak in some points. They will be successful in doing so, except for Mr. Mike, because Mr. Mike just got interrupted. Fireworks. And now the fireworks is here, close, close, separated Ooh. from the squad. Barry is going to be denied easily. And Secret Rare is now on the chase. 
Hyper Voice to secure and clean things up. A double KO for SR. And they are just going to continue to push. I mean, just take a look at that. Sylveon has 40 AOS energy ready to score on the goal zone of Code and Own Binary. And it is just Claw Claw trying to go for the chase. The super drop is there. Unite move already scored by Mr. Mike. And the follow up uh, Here is comes Kalel. there. Kalel out of nowhere. Dragon Current. Dragon Current going to be not upping couple of members here and this is just very favorable for Secret Rare once again. A lots of points on the board once again and they can't do a thing against Kalel. Check that. Finally Deva finds his mark and that's a huge shutdown. Will there be a follow-up though? None as of yet. There's an objective on the top side and Claw Claw is really planning to wow. take that Horn Leech. Horn Hammer gets to Mr. Mike. Trying to find the angle to at least do some damage, and I believe that the space created should be enough. Mr. Mike and company is in a prime fireworks. opportunity to get a Reggie Alecky, but the fireworks is here. Deva was able to snatch away the Reggie Alecky, so survives in the end, and that's a good turnaround from CUB. And the Golden Home Binary could definitely get this opportunity to score a couple of goals, but still. Double KO from the Delphox, denying the AO's energy that Code and Binary has. Yes, the Regilecki will not connect as well. Oh and Deva man. is just struggling a lot here. The nice move by Ken. Oh, and they're going to be taking the 50 AO's energy that this Greninja has stacked up. The Deva had the right idea, right? He wanted to go for a split push, a backdoor play to slam those 50 points in. But guess what? Secret Rare is so much prepared. The slow bro was there to block any of those goals. In Red Rock is again joining the team of Secret Rare. Additional defenses for their squad. I mean, 10 seconds left before the final stretch. This could be the game changer for Code and Binary. And Ken has a very good position, but the check brushes is already there from Clock Law. Gonna be taking the position that was already being handled a while ago. And it, this is just a matter of who's gonna be making the first move. Eyes on Greninja. He is going to be the focal uh, uh, point of offense here by Code Unknown Binary. We're seeing some fire spin hitting its mark already. And the Dragon Current possibly going to get the head of a couple of uh, Pokemon here from CUV. Fire spin gets uh, the Espeon. And the Espeon is a gunner right away. Cal L responsible for that KO. Claw Claw following through as well. And the I Hydro Typhoon is there. Now the Gyaratos is going to secure the Rayquaza. Cal L is everywhere securing the win for Secret Rare. And a quadruple knockout from Secret Rare, making them sure to secure the 500 AO's energy in the goal zone of Code and All Binary. And this has been a very dominating and one-sided match for Secret Rare. And they're just enjoying Slow themselves. Beam. Low Beam is very much present. And they are just knocking out every single member of Code and All Binary. Not, it's not yet over for Secret Rare. They're not yet going home. Uh, meanwhile, for Code and All Binary, their chances will have to rely on the last chance qualifier because Secret Rare is running away with things. Currently, he does have 893 points on the board. Can they reach the 1K mark? Very doable, very possible. Very possible. 25 seconds on the clock. They are trying to chase for it, but the Telekinesis will be there by a couple of times. Clock Law just cannot move just cannot use the wood hammer but cancels it out but the unite move is very much present inside of mr mike unite move as well from claw claw trying to chase for the knockout yes they do but five seconds is not enough to bounce back or turn the tables congratulations to secret rare for advancing to the next round and for code unknown binary thank you and we will see you again they already have secured a, a good amount of prize money, right? 1500 However, the bigger goal of being part of the main event, there's still one more opportunity in the upcoming LCQ. So make sure and be sure to register. Probably we'll see Code on Binary. They are hungry for the victory and they really want to represent the Philippines, of course, in the AOS Island in Honolulu, Hawaii. 
but this is just very efficient game once again from Kalel being the MVP I mean that was the right call close out the Leafeon get the Gyarados for your favor this is why the first pick priority is really a premium right now to use Gyarados when played by a team that knows how to play around it will be able to skip part or skip the part in where he's defenseless yeah. right by being able to skip the Magikarp part uh, <laughs> you can just yeah. destroy your <laughs> opposing uh, Pokemon by just being a dragon and how many times did we see Kal-El win a 1v1 